Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to five cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. Requiem of Destruction was released July 9th, 2022, and introduces seven new Go Rush anime characters. Luijo introduces Voidvelger Requiem, a 2500 attack dark galaxy monster that gains attack based on the number of dark monsters you control, and then an additional 600 if your opponent controls a light monster. Yuamu introduces Bluetooth Burst Dragon, a 2500 attack dragon monster that can destroy all 1500 or less attack monsters on the opponent's field and gain attack based on the number of monsters destroyed. Manabu introduces Chemicalized Salamander, a 2500 attack pyro monster that can weaken the opponent's monsters based on the number of monsters in their graveyard. Mitsuko introduces Alien Count of the White Dwarf, Saint Germain, 2500 attack light reptile normal monster. Tell introduces Kappa Emperor River Slider, a 2500 attack aqua monster that can send an aqua monster to grave to destroy up to two face up level 7 or lower normal monsters. Mania introduces Dianquito, the Cure Maiden, a 2500 attack aqua monster that if you control a field spell allows you to draw one card, and if that card is a field spell, gain a thousand life points. Bocchi introduces Artless Hound, Martial Master Shiba, a 2500 attack beast warrior that the turn it's summoned can special summon a level 5 to 7 beast warrior from the graveyard. He also brings Heartless Hound Thunder Emperor Drynu, a 2500 attack beast warrior that the turn it's summoned can special summon a level 6 or lower beast warrior type normal monster from the graveyard. He also brings Heartless Hound Apex Katana Danbiramation. 2400 attack beast warrior normal monster. We have decided to include Tell and Mania as one aqua package for the draft this week. I will be taking the aqua package, Mania and Tell, Mitsuko and Bocchi, while Alex will take Yuamu, Manabu and Zuijo. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Beast Warriors. So there is this kind of sub -arc type of Wicked Dog, but we are also combining it with Beast Gears. So it's kind of just Beast Warriors. So the main point of this deck is to get out Wicked Dog Warrior Deity Shiva. During the main phase that you normal or special summon this card, special summon one level five to seven Beast Warrior type monster from your graveyard to your field. So our ideal target for this is Wicked Dog Thunder Emperor Dorainu. So it's a level 7 monster, send the top 2 cards of your deck to the graveyard, then if you activated this effect during the main phase that you normal or special summon this card, you can special summon one level 6 or lower beast warrior type normal monster. So our target for that is Nekogao number 2, which is just the biggest card we have available, and thanks to the effects of Beast Gear World, it will become 2200 attack. So it's an interesting kind of aggressive strategy where we just want to swarm the board with a bunch of big guys and try and overwhelm Alex, but that is going to be the core concept of the deck, so we'll go for the cardboard card. So the three Nekagal 2, we didn't just have our beaters, so 1500 attack on Wicked Dog Striking Kaiken Knuckle. Three copies of Moto Wolf, three copies of Wicked Dog Sword Drawing Bulldoze. We have three copies of Wicked Dog Shooting Gundog. Then we have our three Shiva, our three Dorainu. We have one copy of Beast Gear Sage Roller Stag. So during the main phase, you normal or special summon this card. You can play 700 life points, change an attack position monster on your opponent's field to face a defense position, which could be very relevant. And then you can add a Beast Gear World or Beast Gear Secret Art Primal Fist from your graveyard to your hand. So I am not too sold on Sculpture. I'm only playing the one copy, but we thought we'd try it out and see how it works out. We are on three copies of Abari Ushioni. This is a 1200 attack beast warrior and you can toss a coin if the result is heads and flick a thousand damage to your opponent if the result is tails you take a thousand damage if nothing else this is just decently statted but this effect might be relevant we are on three copies of headhunters dig mole if you have 10 or more monsters in your graveyard shuffle three beast warrior type monsters from your graveyard into the deck one face up monster on your opponent's field loses 800 attack until the end of this turn so we should be filling our graveyard with a lot of monsters so 
Hopefully we hit that 10, but 800 attack is a very relevant number to weaken a monster by, so quite happy to have this card. We are on two copies of Apocalypse, the Unstoppable Beast Warrior. So if we have Beast Gear World on the field, we can pay 1,000 life points to special summon a Beast Warrior type monster from your graveyard to your field face up, and it inflicts piercing damage. So with this card, we can bring back Shiva, who can then bring back Jirainu, who can then bring back Nekogel. So this is almost kind of a one-card combo as long as the graveyard's set up, and that's also why we're on the Monster Reborn. It's basically a third copy. We're on three copies of Rage of the Wild Beast. This is our spell and trap destruction. Three copies of Beast Gear World because we think it's necessary that we get this big power boost. And three copies of our Primal Fist, which allows us to change monsters to defense mode when they attack our powerful monsters, which also can be recycled using roller stacks. So we're quite happy with this. In the side deck, we are kind of backtracking in case we want to go back to like the old kind of beast gear strategy so we're on the three savage claw tiger our honorary beast gear we're on three beast summoner this will let us summon the savage claw tiger or the dorainu but will not let us summon shiva because it is a level eight we are on three copies of trike fox very similar effect again can only summon the sevens we are on three copies of block attack in case we want to change alex's monster to defense mode and three copies of spirit shackles in case he is on a tribal strategy and we can use this combat trait to try and win some combats so that is the deck we're bringing. Hopefully, we can just kind of ride Shiva to victory and just beat down Alex. So, fire into the games. So, character draft. We got some new archetypes to play around with. I think we each got about three to mess about with. I say new, uh, but like... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not really. I mean, I got Galaxy, Pyro, and a Dragon. <laughs> yeah, although Dark Galaxy, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's actually going to change much for you. If that's actually like a different deck at the moment, or if you're going to need more like Dark Galaxy support cards to make that thing. Um, yeah, I looked at the spell traps for we got this week, and that like it's all Beast Warriors and. Uh, oh yeah, but, uh, Aquas. Your like, current. Oh. Spell traps no, like, don't of... specify light, though, do they? They're just like any galaxy. Yeah, true. So any galaxy, that. any pyro. Yeah, right. Obviously, I got what was it? Beast Warriors, Aquas, and Reptiles are like my new stuff. So, uh, yeah. you have to see what we're bringing. So, shall we jump straight in? Let's go. It's far away. Oh. Hey, Ooh. we'll go first. Six cards in the extra. That doesn't really tell me much. I think you have you have pyro fusions, you have dragon fusions, and then galaxy. I guess it's not galaxy. That's what this is telling yeah. me. Yeah, there are not yet galaxy fusions. Not yet, but soon. Um, Hopefully. I have a weird hand. I'm going to. Ooh. We're going to go for this. I'm going to normal summon a Bare Ushioni. We're going to activate nice. its effect and flip a coin. I'm going to burn myself. <laughs> then I'm going to tribute it to set a monster. Okay. And then I'm going to set another card and pass. Hmm. Well, I'm going to summon Cremation Dog Nitro. Ooh, we're on the pyros. Burn you. Ow. So assuming you tribute this, this is just free damage. Um, Taste Inspector, tribute to... This is your new boss monster. Yep. <clears throat> Can't use his effect yet. Soon. Well, also, it wouldn't do anything because I don't have any face-up monsters. Oh, yeah, true. Let's see what you... It was Nekogal number two. Okay. Look at that thigh. Yeah. Okay, how do I... Actually, I suppose I do have an out to it right now. I guess we'll go for it. We'll flip summon our second Abare Ushioni. We're going to roll a flip of heads this time. Yes. Just will it into being. Next up, we are going to... She's called Neko Gal, but she looks like a bug. You know, don't read too much into it, mate. Uh, like I think the um, like her hands and legs are like bestial. She's like a chimera almost. All uh, right. Uh, okay. All right. We're gonna normal summon beast gear motor. Mm-hmm. Attribute two, and summon out 
my Beast Gear Sage Roller Stag. Activate its effect. And change your guy to defense. Nice. I'm gonna set and then normal summon. <clears throat> Wicked Dog Sword Drawing Bulldoze. I'm not gonna battle. We'll attack over your I can't get over how cool chemical I summon that looks, man. It just it looks fucking sick. Yeah. I like, compare it to Beast Gear Sage Roller Stag. Like, don't be wrong, Beast Gear Stage Roller Stag doesn't look bad, but like by comparison he looks terrible. Uh we'll get in direct for 14. And we'll pass. A wicked dog who threatens with a throaty deep voice, his ability to intimidate others is dot 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 so so. Uh, well, I'm gonna use Graceful Cherry. Ooh, okay. In the legend. Uh. uh. Mm hmm. I'm gonna send. Wait, is it just the one? Oh no, send two cards from your hand. Uh, Mate, if that was one, that would literally be better than <clears throat> Pot of Greed in every single way. Yeah, true. <laughs> I'm a bit worried that you've got this big cards in your hand mm -hmm. and you're like, I want all of these except one. And I'm like, what? We will. We've got a Power Shock and Gok Boot. He will always be Gok Boot for me. will never be Extra Spice. Summon a Magma Bear. Activate its effect. Put... Uh... Salamander on the bottom of the deck to draw. Okay. I'll draw. Get a taste inspector back in my hand. Uh, I feel like a fusion is in my future. Yeah, I wish that were the case. Almost summon taste inspector. Tribute to. for extra spice. Okay. I've got to say, I do prefer the other one. I don't remember what his name is. Just Spice the Elite Noodle Ninja. From which gets a boost for every like normal monster in your graveyard. Yeah. I assume this guy's part of a fusion. He is indeed. Um... Uh -uh. Like that. Activate the Noodle Up Savory. When taps your opponent's field, lose attack equal to them, face a part of us in field times 400. Okay, so you don't. Need, I suppose you did need to. Guy. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. Nothing for that. But we do have something for this. Behold. Beast Gear, uh... Secret Art, Primal Fist. <laughs> well, now it is time Wait, for that's, Beast that's Gear the guy. Work. Yeah, that's the guy. Wait, is that the guy? Yeah, that's it is. The it's, guy. Like, it's like he's all grown up. <laughs> Because he looks way buffer in this art, I think. Or maybe yeah. I'm just, like, seeing it. Because, like, I want to see it. No, his def his arms are definitely scrawnier in the trap card. Okay, well, I'm going to normal summon my Headhunter's Digmol. But he's not going to be staying around for too long, so we're going to tribute him. Summon out Nekogal number two. And we're going to summon mm. out Beast Gear Motor Wall. Go battle. Swing over. And we'll go at you with Roller Stag into Taste Inspector. I'm getting for 22 direct. And we'll pass back. Ah, uh, so it's gonna be. Oh. Well, set. Well, on the plus side, I'm currently peaking at 2200 and I have no back row. But... Oh, that's this is just game, because I can't. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Well, only option is normal sum here and end. <laughs> okay, so I assume you have back row to try and save it then. Uh, I can tell you that my hand is completely dead right now, so we're just going to shoot the battle. Yeah, GG. <laughs> what, was your, what was your back row? Was it just cards to get out the hand, or was it...? No, I could have given Taste Inspector a thousand attack if you'd played a spell card. Oh, I, I, I had one spell in hand and it brings back a monster from the grave, so it didn't do anything yet.
I'll go first. Okie dokie. Uh, well. Ooh, opens the graceful. We open that, so. Are we going to find anything big? Mm. Yeah, keep that. You and you need to go. I can do. Um. Um. Cross for... promotion, the elite neutral ninja. Okay. Ooh. Fuse into Miso Instant. Nine is big. I think I have to change this to defense to kill it. Can um, you do it? Can I do it right now? Uh, no. Can I do it in the future? Maybe. Right, we're going to activate Beast Gear World. Mm -hmm. Then gonna have a little ponder about what the actual play is here because you can easily shuffle three pyros back into the deck and give yourself piercing. So I'm going to activate another beast gear world. Uh oh. <laughs> then I'm going to normal summon my wicked dog striking kiken knuckle. Followed by normal summoning wicked dog shooting gun dog. And I think we have to just pass on that. Okay. Oh, this is. Mm. I just realized that all of these cards' flavor text is something something dot 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 so so. The strength of his group is so so. The trust of his allies is so so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you trust a guy who fights with a warp pistol and not an actual pistol? It's really funny because usually the Japanese art of this card would be an actual gun. And then when it came over to English, they'd replace it with a water pistol. Yeah. But we've just skipped the middleman here. <laughs> uh, right, well. Dynamo might. Okay, another bird. Burn you for 300. Sue Volcano. I'm surprised you're on Sue Volcano. I assume there's a reason behind it. Ah, it's a normal monster with big bungus. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Earth. I suppose I don't know if your deck actually gives a shit about Earth versus Fire. Oh god, you're summoning another one. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not completely screwed yet. But it's not looking great. Activate. Oh, I'm gonna be able to activate both. Uh, what do I shuffle back in? Part of me thinks you just don't activate either. Just keep the cards engraved to use the effect later. Taste and taste. Oh, both tastes away. Doesn't that mean that if you get start restart, it now kind of locks you out of it? I suppose you'd have to draw. Yeah, true. The uh, tribute monster either way, wouldn't you? Um, just... Well, oh, oh. Okay. Well, we didn't take too much damage there. Okay, what are we working with now? You have only two pyros left in grave. Which means I can kind of put my guys in defense and maybe be okay. I'm gonna set. We're gonna set, set, and set. Last back. Okay. He's back. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, I you are so lucky, bro. <laughs> Two turns in a row, I draw star. star. Well, after you as well just shuffled all of your fucking pieces back into the deck and then drawn straight back into them. Uh, I can't play that once. Okay, this is still kind of fine. All this has done is allowed you to pierce once. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you hit the zero yes. defender. This now gets tricky because you have little burn effects in your deck. Ah, okay, what are we dealing with? You still have two Pyro and Grave. There's nothing I can really do about that. And realistically, I can't actually kill you with this hand. So, we oh, need to just draw uh, as many cards as possible. I mean, if you draw any tribute monster, you've pretty much got this. Uh, yeah, well, let's... This is risky, but... Why is this risky? This is... Almost guaranteed win, right? I think, like, Mirror Force to punish this. Yeah. This is probably the safest thing you could have done. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. I didn't draw any of my boss monsters at all. Ah. Uh. Alright, we'll okay. go first. Let's start with everyone's favourite Beast Gear World. Then we're going to normal summon Wicked Dog Sword Drawing Bulldoze. Then we're going to set three and pass back. Well, I'm going to Nitro Dog. Not again. Not again. And another Nitro Dog. <laughs> I think this is literally the play from the anime. Summons two dogs, burns, tributes them. <laughs> Man, hmm. yep. the boy. Your back row is nothing. Ooh. Alex, the trick is the back row is always nothing. <laughs> Ooh. We... we have a play. Uh... Does it actually accomplish what I need it to do is the question. Hmm. Alright, this is the play. I'm going to normal summon out Bare Ushi Oni. We use this effect. Hey. We're then going to... Yeah, alright. We're going to summon out Wicked Dog Striking Kaiken Knuckle. And we're going to summon out Wicked Dog Shooting Gun Dog. I'm going to tribute to and summon out Shiba. Or Shiba. Wicked Dog Warrior Deity Shiba. I can't use its effects at right. 5 to 7, unfortunately. But we can go to battle. And because its attack is getting boosted from Beast Gear World, we can go over you and then attack in for 18. And pass back. Unfortunately, my Shiva's effect is only usable the turn it's summoned, so it's now just a big ball of attack points. Yeah, unfortunately me, I can't get over that big ball of attack points. Well now it just comes down to a race. Can I kill you before you draw out your fusion? Or I suppose Chemicalized Salamander will get over me as well. You can get out a second one of that. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, Sal Salamander is genuinely a really, really good card. It's such a good boss monster. Carmelo. Do Volcano. Mm hmm. Uh... Well, I guess right now, uh, Salamander will crash with me, right? So it'll put me down to 25. Tribute 2 for cross promotion. Okay. Good battle. Kill off the weak guy. Yeah. Kill off Kaiko Knuckle. <clears throat> um. Okay. Well, we'll normal summon out Wicked Dog Sword Drawing Bulldoze. Tribute it for Nekogal number two. Uh huh. And yes. Wait. Why can I lethal you? I don't think so. Twenty. That'd be three hundred there. 
22 from that, that's 25. That would leave you on 24. So if I do this... Uh-oh. Take back this. I believe oh, there's lethal. Unfortunate. Oh, there was just enough damage. If there wasn't exactly a chemical salamander in there, I did not have lethal. Ah, oh, that's rough. Oh. That was a... Uh... They weren't, they weren't bad games, but I feel like we didn't get to see either of our new awesome boss monsters do their thing. Which was a little bit disappointing, right? We didn't get to see yeah. Camouflage Salamander weaken my board. We didn't get to see Shiva revival and stuff from the graveyard. But I'm sure we'll have plenty of opportunities in the future. I don't think these cards are going anywhere. These are probably going to end up being mainstays of our decks. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Shiva. I love Shiva's effect. I love Shiva's art. But oh, Camouflage Salamander, bro. Looks so nice. I've just realized I didn't include spell trap destruction in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> and I probably um, should have done. Yeah, probably. I think there is even a pyro. Or is it see the fire or pyro spell trap destruction? It's got like a weird, like red salamander looking guy on it. Uh, yes. Two snakes shooting fire. Yeah. But it's fine. We, 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 we can. I'm sure it didn't cause that much issue, right? I mean, I had my spell trap removal in here and I didn't use it at all. So. I've got yeah, one set right now, true. and you just never played back row for me to destroy, so... <laughs> oh, but yeah, GG, man. GG.